Yo, what it do? Welcome back to another episode of Three Wands. It's your man's Lord Shu back with another episode from the Keys to the Island. This is based on my magazine hybrid manual, which you can download on my website, shoelovesrebels.com. Just click the magazine tab and it'll take you straight to the magazine. So today we are going to start the Keys to the Island step one. Step one is our topic today, creating content. Before we get into it, Please subscribe to the channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. And leave me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing on these videos. And y'all know what it is. Click that like button. Let me know that y'all really rock with what I'm doing. I'm going to keep it real with you. Keys to the Island is everything that I do in my day-to-day -day life as far as how I manage my business, how I create content, how I just have integrity in my business in general, look out for people. Uh, anything anything that revolves around my business and my life this is it in written form so we're gonna start with step one creating content now with creating content I recommend that you take three months out of your year to compile stockpile content research research marketing research sales research uh, the topics that you're getting involved with your niche knowing this information is going to make a huge difference on why your content could either hit or miss when you post it, when you're trying to sell a product or market a product. So you wanna keep in mind that those three months, that is your time to build up your reservoir of content. Also doing the research so that you know market trends, what's going on in social media, if any algorithms have changed. You wanna be ahead of the curve, not because of competition, but because you wanna deliver an experience with your product. See, one thing on this channel we not gonna do is we not gonna create competition amongst entrepreneurs, artists, and creative directors. Your biggest thing in life is to not compete with anyone but yourself. You can only be as better as you were yesterday. So that is your competition. Focus on being the best version of yourself every day and going surpassing that. So when you're creating content, you got your schedule. You know you're gonna take three months out of the year to create content, right? And then you're going to do your research and make sure that everything lines up. And as you're creating content and moving into the next phase, which is step two, which we'll talk about in the next episode, you'll know exactly how to go forward. You'll know, oh, I need to tweak this. I need to make this make a difference in how I'm doing my call to actions in my videos. Or I can use this method now instead of the last method that uh, was on TikTok's algorithm a month ago. You know, you never know with social media, it changes so often and the world is moving at a very fast pace. So social media platforms are working to keep up with the speed of that. So always keep in mind to do your research. That's important when you're creating content. You want a series of content that solely relate to what you're doing. And what I mean by that is if you're an artist, then you need to be making content about your art, the process, who you are, the, the content behind the artist, and so on and so forth. Everything has to match up with who you are so it makes sense to your audience. If you're making content that doesn't make sense to the audience that you're trying to attract, you're going to get people who aren't dedicated buyers to what you are putting out into the world for people to buy, watch. You just want them to be involved in what you're doing. So make sure that your niche market is being served what they want not what you want to serve them, unless it is in alignment with your niche. The focus with your content when you're creating is you're thinking about your community. Now, granted, we're using content as a form of calls to actions to get people into our sales funnel, which is wherever you want people to go to in the end, whether that be uh, to put an item in a cart, to put them in a community where you can put push private content out to them, it just depends on what your end goal is. So you always have to think, optimize your content for that, for your sales funnel, and making sure that you are creating a community of people who actually want what you're putting out. That's the most important thing about creating content. Some content you can create just for fun. Like me personally, I make vlogs about the things that I do in my life. I don't make that content because I'm trying to sell a product or anything like that. I create it because it just shows how much fun I, I actually am having doing what I do. That's the most important thing, is to show people that you genuinely care about what you're doing, not just making things so that you can sell a product. 
And that's pretty much it for today's episode, y'all. If you like this video, please click the like button, leave a comment, and let me know how I am doing with these videos and what I can change. And also, if you think this video can help someone, please send it to a friend, a family member, or anyone you think off the top of your head. <laughs> so if you're not uh, subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching another episode of Three Wands with Lord Shu. Holla!